Rick B's Daily Vlogs. Mural week continues. I'm going to do a nice little hidden one today because of a middle school in San Francisco that is no longer here. So let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. I'm having fun with this mural topic. It might extend into next week because there's a couple other murals that I really like but I haven't had a chance to get to. But today, we're going to talk about this hidden mural that wasn't done by a famous artist but a bunch of students. But first, I'll talk about the history of the school and then show you the mural. Let's go. Let's go. Sitting right there in the corner of Scott and Geary is now Gateway High School, KIPP Academy. But back in July 1st, 1980, when the doors first opened, this was called Benjamin Franklin Middle School. And on that faithful year of 2005, the school, the middle school closed, the building stayed, and then that's when KIPP Academy moved in. And Gateway moved in not long after that. But the kids of the Benjamin Franklin Middle School did an homage for them and made a little mural that is hidden right behind the Western Edition Library. Let's go check it out. Right here sits the Western Edition Public Library. And then right around a corner, right where the parking lot used to be, is a mural that was done, again, not by a famous artist, but by the students that was leaving Benjamin Franklin back in 2005. And man, this has a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Again, when the Ben Franklin students realized that their school was about to close, they wanted to do an homage to the city, San Francisco, the district that Ben Franklin was in. So they did a little mural right here. And again, the, the mural says by Mac Craig III. Not sure if he did the mural or he's the one that got the mural together. But man, again, look at the details in this mural. You have a bunch of guys right here who are playing basketball, but they're using a peace symbol as well. You got the red Golden Gate Bridge going across. You have the Tree of Life and around it, it says tolerance. Someone's saying sorry. And again, it says right here, tolerance is I guess one of the keywords and someone has a hand that says don't be racist follow the road to peace everything here again like I said look at the word right there tolerance again going down and it says teach there's love erasing racism and needless contempt Wow, pretty deep. And again, these were a bunch of 6th, 7th, and 8th graders who did this. There's three pieces to the art. One, two in the middle, and then three right here. Right here you have some sayings. This one is by Gandhi. This one right there is signed by Anonymous. Then that one right there, Maya Angelou. And if you back up, again, you can see the diversity of people. Someone wearing a Mexico shirt. I'm assuming the one next to them is an Asian because of the hat. I'm assuming. Sorry if I'm wrong. Got a person working out. Person reading a dictionary on tolerance. And against a bunch of other things making a difference. Then you have a stop sign right there. Then another sign that says no racism 
Then again, if you can read it right there, a project of the Benjamin Franklin Middle School. Oh, it was an eighth grade team, not sixth and seventh. Peer, class, resource, the community. Lead students, it has their names right there. And it goes all the way around. And the muralist, oh, there's the muralist right there. Olga Yuklikova. Sorry if I butchered your name, but man, this is a mural that, again, if you blinked, you would miss it. But this is special to me because I went to that middle school. But I like it. I like it a lot. Now this is definitely one of those blink and you miss it kind of murals. If you're going to Hamilton Park, which is right over there, and I did the vlog yesterday with the Blues Evolution, you never would have saw this mural. And it does represent a community here. It was Benjamin Franklin Middle School back in 2005 when they did this right before the school closed down. So for them to actually come up with something like this and to be sitting in a public library, I think it's cool. I totally think it's cool. Looking at the big picture, I would get rid of this bush right here, whatever it is. So if you're standing right here, you can actually see it without this bush in the way. But man, this to me represents again the community, the area that this is in. Represents the kids that went to that school. And back in 2005, they were talking about no racism tolerance. That's deep. That is deep to me. And again, a special place in my heart because I did go to this middle school. So by them to come up with this and for the public to see it, that deserves a bigger thumbs up than some of the other murals that I saw because this was done by kids. Kids or probably adults now. This is probably my favorite right here. The kids with the word tolerance around it. Tree of life right there. And then the tree branches out into a hand holding the earth. And again, little descriptions. You got Sutro Tower right there. Golden Gate Bridge, like I said. This is nice. Make a difference. I'm a little confused on yeah, you already can see what I'm confused about. Is that a lady without a top? Or is that a guy without a top? Regardless, every, the mural looks, looks nice, complete. And if you look at everything on the side right here, it does say a lot of things. Tolerance is seeing with your heart instead of your eyes. And then the word tolerance on this side says teaching others others or others open-minded love learning exploring experience racial harmony active nobody can stop me and then clean environment i think this is cool uh mural again if you walk right past that scott street right there if you walk right past Scott Street, this mural is sitting right on the, the back end of the library. One last look. Benjamin Franklin, no longer there, but the memories of the kids who decided to do a mural before the school closed down because they wanted to open up a charter school still remains, still exists. All right, guys, that's going to do it for vlog. What is this? Uh, number three. It's number three. It's the third day of me doing doing um, murals. Forgot what I was talking about. Murals. And yesterday's vlog with the Blues Evolution. It's a little kind of hit or miss. It was raining and brought out the Lumix, and a lot of the shots were not as steady as I wanted to do. I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket right now so a lot of the coverage, the footage is a little bit more more on the stable side. Wanted to come out and talk about the mural that the Benjamin Franklin kids did back in 2005 before the school closed. That's sitting right here in the Western Edition Library. 
I am going to try to get out and do some more murals. Again, I'm going to extend this out for another week because there's a couple ones that I do want to hit. Um, I did say in the beginning of the week that I might not touch on Balmy, um, Balmy Alley, but I will because there's a couple of historical murals out there that I definitely want to touch on. But I'm trying to find murals like this that's here, but you don't realize is here. So most likely it's going to continue on until next week. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mural Week will continue again tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. The vlog's ended. Go in peace. What I like about this mural in the background is this bike lock. Looks like a person on a bike. So you have one art in front of another art. I made this.